What up, everybody? It's Charlie, and I'm back. So, first of all, happy Halloween, everyone. Um, I hope you're having a very safe and good Halloween. Um, but I'm, in this video, gonna re rewind it back a little bit to last week. Last week was Asexual and Aromantic Awareness Week, and I happen to be asexual, and so I wanted to come on and kind of talk a little bit about my experience and um, kind of the different identities that I have that intersect with being asexual. So first of all, I obviously am black, and so I want to talk about what it's like being black and asexual. Um, you know, in American society and really society around the world, black people are sexualized, over-sexualized, and we're assumed to be just really sexual people who are always kind of looking for that next fix. Um, and that's something that's left over from like the beginning of slavery times. So for me, when it comes to my asexuality, it's really a revolutionary thing for me to kind of buck against that system and say, well, not only am I not overly sexualized, but I also am not sexualized at all. Um, and I'm kind of outside of that binary, um, or I guess it's not a binary, but like that default position. But even with that being said, in the black community, people don't know a lot about asexuality and that's not something that's kind of offered to us as an option. And so it took me a long time to kind of learn about what asexuality is and how I fit into that. Because at first I thought that asexuality meant that I don't have sex ever and I hate sex and all of those type things. And that's true for some asexual people, but for me in particular, I am not sex repulsed. So I do have sex and I enjoy it and I think it's a fun experience. The main difference is that for me, I don't go around thinking about sex. When I see someone, I'm not aroused by them. I can appreciate physical aesthetics and how people can look, but I don't necessarily get aroused by that. Um, I also think of sex just as any other activity. So I would go out to dinner with you just as much as have sex with you. And I think both of those are equally fun. What I like about sex is the intimacy that it brings and the way that it helps me to connect with my partners and with the people that I have sex with. And that's really kind of the main reason that I do it. Um, and I find that connection to be fun. So yeah. The next identity that I want to talk about is being disabled because being disabled is kind of the opposite. People assume that disabled people have no sexuality at all, that we're so burdened by the weight of our disabilities that we have no time for sex or no energy for it or no libido. But that's not at all true. Um, most disabled people I know are allosexual, which means that they are interested in sex and aren't asexual. And so it's interesting for me to kind of go against that grain as well. Within the disabled community, we're trying to buck against this assumption that we're asexual. But at the same time, I actually am asexual. And so I kind of sometimes feel like I'm letting the disabled community down because I'm not like, because I'm living up to the stereotype. So that's something that I think about a lot and has kind of changed the way that I do things. So basically those are the two main things that I think about when I think about being asexual and the other identities that I hold that being black and asexual is complicated and being disabled and asexual is also challenging. And so those things combined in one person kind of leaves me in a challenging situation. But it's something that is important for me to talk about and it is something that's important for me to kind of address. And so I wanted to get on here and kind of talk about my experience. And I hope to hear what you guys have to say as well. And sorry, my video got cut off. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Deuce.